So currently, there are two IL-6 inhibitors that are approved for use in rheumatoid arthritis, as well as one in several other diseases. Uh, both of these affect the IL-6 receptor. Olecizumab is different. It affects the IL-6 itself, the blocks IL-6 itself. And for that reason, you can use a lower dose of olecizumab, and that's what makes it novel. Uh, the clinical trials, which you've already re reviewed, showed that in CRUDO2, olecizumab plus methotrexate was not inferior to adalimumab plus methotrexate. That actually hasn't been shown with tocilizumab and ceruleumab. Uh, tocilizumab and ceruleumab in testing versus adalimumab tested, uh, tested themselves versus adalimumab monotherapy. And we know that adalimumab monotherapy or without methotrexate is not as effective as adalimumab plus methotrexate. So what's unique is that it affects IL-6 itself. You can use a lower dose, and therefore you should have less injection site reactions. It can be used every two to four weeks, rather than every week or every two weeks with the two approved uh, molecules. And it has been shown to be non-inferior to adalimumab in a head-to-head -head trial, uh, the way that we use adalimumab in combination with methotrexate. And those are the key take-home findings for the cre uh, CREDO uh, trials. Uh, what's also uh, been shown with the CREDO trials was that uh, uh, olecizumab is effective in patients who are TNF uh, incomplete responders. And, and that's a, a very significant population of patients. The next step for recognizing the potential of the drug uh, would actually be, to be, I would think, to do the trials that have not been done. How does olecizumab work in um, uh, uh, patients with early RA? How does it work versus methotrexate? Uh, how does it work as the monotherapy versus a TNF inhibitor? Uh, we don't have the answer to those questions. We would expect that all those studies would be positive, but we don't know until we do the study. Uh, the current status of approval for olecizumab is that it is approved in Russia and one other Eastern European country, and it, they will file for approval in the United States um, in the future. Uh, whether it's approved or not will obviously depend upon its clinical um, uh, outcomes in, in, in the trials that they've done or what they might do as well as a safety profile and what the FDA or EMA uh, decides about its relative benefit risk. It, it should be approvable uh, in, in both the EMA uh, and, and by the FDA.